Well, it's sad to report that Cardi B and Offset are no longer together. She says she has not been with him for a while. And this all goes back to people trying to make the connection to what Blueface was saying about Quashawn and Offset sleeping together. But let's get into what Cardi B had to say yesterday. my lives and for my stories when I put some certain music when it comes for today's events and stuff I don't know if it's I don't think it's true I don't care to find out because I, I've been single for a minute now but I have been afraid to like I'm not afraid I just don't know how like to tell the world I want to I want to start 2024 like fresh I don't know I'm curious for a new for a new life for a new beginning have you guys been getting Clues for me for my lives and for my stories when I put some certain music. When it comes for today's events and stuff, I don't know if it's true. I don't think it's true. I don't care to find out because I, I've been single for a minute now, but I have been afraid to like, I'm not afraid. I just don't know how like to tell the world. I want to, I want to start 2024 like fresh. I don't know. I'm curious for a new, for a new life, for a new beginning. Have you guys been getting Clues for me for my lives or for my stories when I put some certain music. When it comes for today's events and stuff, I don't know if it's true. I don't think it's true. I don't care to find out because I, I've been single for a minute now. But I have been afraid to like I'm not afraid, I just don't know how like to tell the world. I wanna I wanna start 2024 like fresh. I don't know, I'm curious for a new for a new life, for a new beginning. Have you guys been getting Clues for me for my lives or for my stories when I put some certain music. When it comes for today's events and stuff, I don't know if it's true. I don't think it's true. I don't care to find out because I, I've been single for a minute now, but I have been afraid to like, I'm not afraid. I just don't know how like to tell the world. I want to, I want to start 2024 like fresh. I don't know. I'm curious for a new, for a new. So that goes right I feel like she felt like she had to go live because Blueface had a lot of allegations and he put up a lot of like timelines and things of that nature and a lot of the internet ran with these timelines. So let's get into what I'm actually talking about because my thing is with Blueface, every time him and Kushan get into it, it seems like he has an attitude or a problem. You understand what I'm saying? And it's crazy. So, let's get into what I've been talking about. Okay. Let's start with courtesy of Hollywood Unlocked. Shout out to Hollywood Unlocked and Jason Lee team. It says, Krishan covers up Blueface's tattoos. The net tattoos. Now, the reason why she covered up the tattoos is because of the whole kidnapping situation and everything of that situation i want to talk about that whole kidnapping with the baby in a separate interview and i don't want to make this video too long so as she was telling the story about that night and what happened at that day of the whole kidnapping situation i guess blue felt some type of way as he always does so let's go to the next slide and then he says, as she's getting there, she did a live, and the people came to her house to do the tattoo, right? Right, okay. Then she, he says, finally, six more to go. Let that, let's get that all, that, wait. Six more to go, LOL. Get all that up off you, please, respectfully. Being tattooed on a hoe is not a flex. You literally... Fucked Cardi's husband a couple of weeks ago. I'm tired of niggas looking at me. We meanwhile they're fucking you. Now, y'all remember just a couple of months ago in the summertime, he tried to say that little baby was fucking her too. And then little baby had to come out and say, like, nah, no, I don't know that lady like that. To be like messing with her like that. So, this is, wouldn't be the first time that Blue said something like this about Kushan. So, let's get into it some more. Then it says, Blue faces re reacts to Kushan covering up the tattoo and alleges that she slept with Offset weeks ago. Right? 
Okay, let's get into it. Blue face. Ain't nobody trying to crack. Oh, Lord, no. This is where he talked about Ellen Lee Chopper's baby mother. Where she was trying to mess with her, I believe. Ellen Lee Chopper. Is, it's like a whole situation with Blueface. And here's what I don't like about it. I'm going to talk about that in another video. Let's go to the next slide. She says, you just crashing out. Making up shit. This is Krishan. Let's talk about how I saw a gay porn in your recent search history. That's why, honestly, I got the cover up, bro. Had... I had a zesty nigga on my neck. Nothing wrong with being bisexual. Just let a bitch know before she fall in love, widow. Then she says, you cover, cover, you over there trying to crack Ellen Lee Chopper's baby mama. She dunks you, got, you got no risk for your boy. Now, the whole Ellen, I got, I don't know what's going on with my tongue today. Maybe because I'm trying to talk too fast. But I'm around. It was a whole situation where L and Ellie Chopper's baby mother was on live with Krishan. And Krishan was asking her about the whole situation where Blueface was trying to like holler at her. She said the Blueface smelled like Hennessy. Blueface smelled like Hennessy or whatever. And it was on the set of the baddies. He, she said, I'm not hollering at you like that because I know your baby mother. And from then on, since Krishan got on the phone with that young lady and did a FaceTime and the whole world got to see it, Blueface has been going ham burger. Okay, so let's get into another slide because he's getting on my nerve. I ain't never talk or touch that lady. Real talk, man, you need some help. Talking about Blueface. And it says, Offset and Krishan slam Blueface over the affair allegation, and Blueface reacts. Now I watch gate. Now I watch gay porn. Laughing face emoji. That's the best you can come up with. Cap. I don't believe. It's Cap. I believe it's something to that. Reason. Y'all remember when the transgender or the person came out and said that they, that Blueface hit him up or whatever. And then that person all of a sudden took that whole thing back. Think about it. Think about it. That person took the whole allegations back. Oh, I was just playing. Blueface never tried to talk to me. I, 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 I believe, and I said then I believe that person was lying. Okay, let's get into another slide. So you ain't fuck Cardi B's husband November the 10th at 4 a.m. at the L.A. house. I'm making this up. Try to keep your secret, but you keep popping it on these apps. I'm the only state fact. Any, I'm a, I'm the only state facts. That's every every time. Here we go. Feel like I can't read today or something. Anywho, I feel like Blueface did all of this because that girl don't went and found somebody that she likes, and that person likes her. Remember, I told you he started talking about Suave's car and. Oh, he need to buy this certain type of car. He's trying to live this certain type of status. We went through all of that in my recent videos. But my thing is with Blueface, why you can't leave that girl alone, y'all? The girl in the studio, you come and kidnap the baby. Why? Why did you take the baby out the house? Now, Kwashawn gets on live the other day and says, you know, my baby is a little bit congested. And I believe the baby got congested like that and coming down with a little cold, I think, because my baby didn't have on no hat, no coat, no this, no that. Now, if you the baby father, and I say if, because now, ever since then, he's came out and said that he's not the baby father, knowing that he did not show no proof that he's not the baby father. He's full of shit is what he is. And I've been saying that Blueface is full of shit. When Kushan does not show him no attention, that man has a problem. He got a lot of bitch assness in him. You got, it's like he wants to be 
up underneath her bosom like the baby or something. Like, come on. Are you serious? Every time she's trying to win, he's trying to mess it up. Now, the night that he kidnapped the baby, the next day, Kushan was supposed to get her hair and stuff done for she can have a show. I talked about that too. She couldn't go to the show. She had all these marks and bruises on her body. She showed it in the live. She had all these marks and bruises on her body from when she couldn't go to the show. Her hair wasn't done. Nothing wasn't done. And that was the live that she was with Jaden. Because Jaden left the house. He hits Jaden up. He tells Jaden, now, you never denied her kids before. But this is what he says to Jaden. If you don't get back to the house, I'm going to leave the kids, his kids, at the next door neighbor house. Why would you do something stupid like that? Why would you do something stupid like that? If you ain't father, right? Why would you then call the mother that's fed up with you? Why would you then call the mother of your kids and say, if you don't get back to the house, I'm going to leave the kids with the next door neighbor. Why would you say something like that? This is the type of father that he is. This is the type of father that he is. All for attention. And y'all don't find it funny? Let me go to one more. Okay, let's go to another slide. Y'all don't find it funny that every time Blueface want to promote, want to wanna drop something like anything or promote anything, he start problems with with, with Krishan? So he can get his motherfucking views up. And then he dropped something on you. Let me give y'all a prime example of what he did. Tell me why. I took a cotton swab. I swabbed this baby. DNA was test results came in. I'm not the father. Shaking my head. It's bittersweet feeling cuz. I was coming around to it. But definitely in the best in, in my best interest thank you jesus why everybody gotta bring jesus into it i can't even pretend like i'm not happy as hell i think he capping i think that's cap but let's get into another slide that he did the baby's over there with you the baby's gonna be wherever i go he's gonna be protected he's gonna be safe he's gonna be with his mother Mom, you know why? Because when I had a fun feeling when I left him with Marsh, I paid his thousand dollars an hour. That's why I, when she when when he woke up trying to take the baby, she was like, "You gonna take me too?" Till Krishan get to us because respectfully, that's what she paid for. So yeah, so nigga, this weird is just like a weirdo. Like he really weirdo, like real. Sh so now I got all my control though. That's why I had my baby in Baltimore. That's why I didn't put him on no birth certificate. So still my baby again. Respectfully, it's not your child. You know why? Because where's the proof? And, and in spite of that DNA test we took on our TV to talk about him again. Like, what do you want? Yeah, we have proof. We know this is your kid, but he doing so, so much damage. I had to make sure he wasn't on no birth certificate. I had to make sure I was more in control of the situation because the situation. It's okay, because, like, I don't know what man will expose their son. Kidnapped him, get in a car accident. The baby don't got no, there's no, he didn't grab the diaper bag or nothing. He just left the crib. Like, he could just survive on. Want me to talk about him again. Yeah, we have proof. We know this is your kid, but he doing so so much damage. I had to make sure he wasn't on no birth certificate. I had to make sure I was more in control of the situation because the situation. It's, okay, because, like, I don't know what man will expose their son. Kidnapped him, get in a car accident. The baby don't got no, there's no, he didn't grab a diaper bag or nothing. He just left the crib. Like, he could just survive on. Want me to talk about him again? Yeah, we have proof. We know it's your kid. All because he want to get this young lady's attention. This is what it's all about, y'all. This is what it's all about. One minute, I'm not the baby father. The next minute, 
He got something to say about stuff. He's just doing a lot. He's doing a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And I find it funny that all of a sudden, while all this is going on, right? All this is going on. Guess who all of a sudden drops that they do on a show? Blueface. In the middle of all the controversy he done started, all of a sudden, he wants to drop one that he's doing the show. So, let's get into that. So now, Blueface announces that he is looking for the best female rapper of the West for a new series on Zeus called Rap Queens West. Winner will get a million dollar deal. All of a sudden, in the midst of all the bullshit, now all of a sudden, you want to drop that, that you having a show? Come on. You know what these celebrities get on my nerve, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm not going to play it because it has music behind it, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't want to play it. Here's the thing. Now you got a whole show coming out. You know what else I find funny? I find this to be funny. You blame, you said that she slept with Offset. Guess who drops a video yesterday? Offset. <laughs> Y'all don't find all of this to be strange and funny? That all of a sudden, Blueface starts this whole thing. And people call him a marketing genius. All eyes was on Blueface yesterday. All eyes was on Blueface. From the moment he said, oh, you slept with her this, this, that day, this, this, that, and the third. People was waiting for Cardi B to go live. People was waiting for Kushan to go live. People was waiting for Blue to say something else. People was just waiting in the wings just for stuff to be starting to drop. And I found it funny that out of all the midst of everything, you all of a sudden want to drop a video? And I'm talking about Offset. Then, 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 Cardi B has to come out and say that she's getting a divorce from you because she wants to be alone. And they don't have nothing to do with that. And she don't know if those allegations between Kushan and Offset are true. But she don't care and she don't care to find out. Let me tell you something. I believe they was waiting for certain things to drop in order to promote certain things. Get what I'm saying? I'm tired of these celebrities. Here's the thing about it. If you're going to drop the freaking music, just drop it already. Because bringing up all this mess, because it seems like it's a plan, y'all. Y'all don't think this is all was a plan? It seemed like it was a plan to me, and the only ones that was left out of the plan was Cardi B and, 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 and um, Kushan. You wanted to disturb that little girl's peace over there. And I'm talking about Kushan. I'm not calling her a little girl because she's grown. But you wanted to disturb her peace over there. You didn't like the fact that she's peaceful without you. You didn't like the fact that she already said when she left, she didn't take none of the money. She left it with you. She switched accounts. She did this. She did that. Because a lot of the money was going into your account. She said that about Jaden just the other day too on live. See, I put two and two together. Jaden, everything that you was doing and you were signing this and you were signing the MILF and you were signing that. All that was for show. Your money was probably going into his account because he's very controlling like that. And that's why when he told you to come back to the house, I think you had no choice but to go back to the house because you didn't want your kids now to be by themselves. And that's why Uncle Sean had to go to the house Together. Get where I'm coming? Follow me? And then they went over there together. Because Sean talked about it. And they tore up everything over there. I'm going to give y'all a better timeline of all of this going on. Starting from the kidnapping. Because I found that to be weird. And then Sean cleared it up the weirdness. Because I knew it. I knew it. A woman knows what a woman knows. You been trying to get at Kushan. You wanted to come over. And she was ignoring you because she was in the studio. 
You didn't like the fact that she was in the studio working because you want all the women around you to rely on you and your money. So whenever you ready to control them and do X, Y, and Z, like you did, yeah, now you want them to come over there to you. And it didn't happen with Kushan. You was controlling her for a little minute with the money situation. But once she got up out of there, she got up out of there. Got her own house, got this, got that. Got deals going on, still dealing with the whole baddie situation. You do not like the fact that that girl has moved on. For the moment of the kidnapping, it went from the kidnapping. Then he did the live on the video of the kidnapping. Then he tried to talk about her house and how the baby was sleeping on the air mattress on the floor and this and this and that and the third. Remember that? Then the fighting happened inside of the kid, the whole kidnapping situation. Then Kushan and Jaden got on live and played the shit out of him. He didn't like that. Everybody was laughing. He didn't like that. He did not like it. So then it went from it went from them laughing at him to them two linking up like Voltron because didn't, he didn't like that. Y'all linking up? Okay, Jaden, I'm going to leave the kids over here. Now, you ain't got no choice but to come back to the house, bitch. Because your kids is over here with me. Even though they my kids too. But I'm going to threaten you. And I'm going to tell you because I know I'm going to hit you where it hurt. And those kids is where it hurt. He knew how to tug on her heartstrings through those kids. And that's what the fuck he did. And they know that Jaden was going to break with Sean with her. And they tore up the house. They did this. They did that. Now, all of a sudden, they tell the whole story in the whole aftermath. You jumped out the window. Now, the kid is not yours. It went from the kid not being yours to, oh, you don't slept with X, Y, and Z. Y'all get where I'm going with it? Misery love company, yo. He don't like the fact that that young girl just up and left him like that. With no control. He can't control her. We know for a fact that she had her baby in Baltimore for a reason, like she just stated. We know for a fact that the baby name is not on the, on the birth certificate, because people have been trying to take that baby a long time ago. But with his record and her record, you'd rather leave that baby with her, so you can come over whenever you want, like you tried to do that night when she was in that studio and it did not work. That was his whole thing. He's a very controlling, manipulative person. That's the person that we're dealing with. That's the person that we're dealing with. And if you wasn't so busy trying to make people miserable, you don't have a cold car. How are you steal my kid out my baby, out my house, with no hat, no coat, no snowsuit, no nothing? At four in the morning, you disturb my whole household because I'm not there, I'm not dealing with you, and you have an attitude. So you disturb my whole peace and my whole household. Okay. Then on top of that, let's add the fact that you crashed the fucking car that you was in. And he wasn't driving the car. So the nigga that was driving crashed into whatever, allegedly. But you don't want to talk about that part. How you endangered the welfare of a minor who's supposed to be your child. And how you sitting up there saying now that the child is not yours. Let's break it down. It's Messy Monday. If we're going to get into it, right, we're going to get into it. Because this is what the, the events that have been transpiring. I just didn't want to talk about it because with them, it's always some mess after mess after mess after mess. You're going to do 5,000 fucking videos on them alone in two weeks. It's content, but goddamn. I'm telling y'all, this man, every time he want to promote something... Or every time he don't get his way with Kushan, he start trying to throw her underneath the bus. First it was little baby. Now it's Cardi B's man. And you know the internet don't never stop for nobody, right? Because let me show you what the internet went and found. This post is courtesy of Amon Wiggins. It says, French Montana salute. Celebrates his birthday with Quashawn Rock, Offset, and more. Look at the date, y'all. It says French Montana turns 39 
this week. And the story is by Caroline Fisher. Look at the date. November the 10th, 2023. Now, now here's the thing. Blue face to me is very calculated. Very calculated. The industry itself is very calculated. Now, could you have seen this post right here? Like everybody else did when it got posted. And you pick Blueface because his name is next to Sean's. And she's right there in the picture. I think you was mad that she went to this party right here too. I think he was mad about that. That was only a couple of weeks ago. That was two weeks before Thanksgiving. He was just beefing with her. And stole the baby. Why he didn't bring that up? Why he didn't bring this up then? Because he's calculated. All this stuff is calculated. Blue face gets on my nerves. I need him to go underneath a rock. And stay there. But I'm going to give y'all a whole nother breakdown coming up in the later days. Because I have a funny feeling all of this is not over. It's always something with them. Every time she ignores him or every time he does not get his way with Sean, it's always a problem. Think about it. Always. It's never not a problem. It's always a problem. So y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Do y'all think that she really set will, will, will offset? But after listening to Cardi B and everything, and Cardi B confirms that she's getting a divorce or whatever, she's not been with him for a while now, Offset. She hasn't been with Offset for a while, so we already recapped that. And then we recapped this all this other little mess going on with Blueface and Krishan. And him all of a sudden dropping a whole little series on Zeus Network. Think about it. It's crazy, right? Could this all be a coinky dink? Could all this be made up? Or is it something to it? Seems like to me it's all a distraction too. Seems like to me it's a little bit of a promotion in there too. Seems like to me there's somebody just want to get the internet all riled up and talking about them. And then boom, I'm dropping a show. Right in the middle of the chaos that he started. He started it. Right in the middle of the chaos. Because to this day, why did he go over there and take that baby out, out the house like that? He never said why he wouldn't take out the baby. Oh, the baby don't have nobody. The baby, don't, the baby, Marsh was watching the baby. She got paid to watch the baby. So why did you take the baby out of the baby's house? The baby lives there. Oh, because you didn't get the mother's attention. The mother was over there putting in work and you didn't want no you didn't like that. Because you can't get none of that money. You can't be a part of none of that. Lately, Kushan's name has been trending and I've peeped game a lot. Even down to her doing the video and the song with the white boy. Down to her with the whole Tamar situation. Down to her all of a sudden getting a new man. Down to her popping up in the video with the new man. Think about all the stuff that has been inspiring around this girl's name. He has to throw his name in the mix of hers. He can't just let her go off and trend and have a happy life. Because that's not, that's not the person that we're dealing with. Like I said, again, Misery Love Company. Tell me how y'all feel about everything in the comments that we talked about in this video. My name is Eve the Weed. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit me in the comments. I'll hit you right back. Later.